This is Dan Bjorklund, Landis Technical Agronomist, and I'm in that field that, oh, we've been in this field a couple times, over by Jefferson, there was 112 day corn that did not receive, did not receive a fungicide application. Here's a gravel road. Now this one is not the field I'm talking about. This field still has some plant health, and I don't know this particular farmer, but I would guess that he probably applied fungicide. This is the field I'm talking about. So I'm gonna walk in here and I'm gonna do the push test uh, because the only thing you can do now for this field is to get in here and get it out before it falls down. And we've talked at length about the problem with producing sugars and the plant not having enough leaf area to uh, to produce the sugars to fill the ears so it cannibalizes the stalks. And so we're gonna test and, and see where we're at uh, standability wise. I have an idea of what I think. And then um, we'll show you what we find. You can probably tell in my voice if you listen to very many of uh, videos that we've done. Um, I came down with something three or four days ago and I hope it's not, I hope it's not <laughs> Southern Rust Lung. But man, um, I've got a good one going, uh, congestion, and actually it does feel like it's gone to chest congestion, uh, congestion but need to be out here to try to uh, warn people about what some of these stocks look like. So gonna dehydrate, again, uh, hydrate. And again, guys, that's just water. And we're gonna do the, the push test. So we'll do 10 plants. One, two, oh man, three, four, there's no health in here. Five out of five, six out of six, seven out of seven, eight out of eight. There's absolutely no plant health at all. 100% of these plants. Now we're gonna check the ear. how loose that is this field is a disaster waiting to happen and I I've already had some reports of some early corn taken out the last two or three days um, so we're what talking about probably the 5th to the 10th of September that is down already 21% moisture and running 180 to 200 where they had the potential for 250. That's just a dead field. These are fields that did not have fungicide. So obviously there's gonna be some good yields because we had a lot of guys that, that, that did fungicide. Okay, so um, you can see as I pan over to the left, this is the field that died early, 112 day. And it's the, it's the 10th of September. So that's pretty bad. And then we pan over to the right, and this is across the gravel road. Again, I don't know who's this field, whose field this is. I just, you can pretty much be sure with the way rust came across most of Iowa that the only way you have fields that are still green like this is that there was fungicide applied uh, to protect it. So the tale of two situations, big yield difference and standability, whoa. Standability difference, if there's anything I can stress now, is make sure you get out and combine these fields that were impacted by rust because there is absolutely no plant health and every single plant uh, does not tolerate the push test. Uh, any kind of a wind event is going to be very problematic for, for this field. Sad, sad story here, but this is the reality uh, that we're facing where we didn't have fungicide application. Dan Bjorklund, Landis Technical Agronomist, signing off.